oceans. About three-fourths of the Earth's surface is covered by water. Oceans are large water bodies of salty water. The five oceans of the world in order of their sizes are the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Arctic Ocean and the Antarctic Ocean, also called Southern Ocean. Pacific Ocean It is larger in area than all the oceans put together. Mariana Trench, the deepest part of the Earth, lies under the Pacific Ocean. Pacific Ocean is circular in shape. The deepest point of the Mariana Trench is 10,911 meters below sea level. The continents of Asia, Australia, North and South America surround the Pacific Ocean. Atlantic Ocean This is the second largest ocean in the world and it resembles the shape of the letter S. It is bounded on the west by North and South America, on the east by Europe and Africa, to the north it merges into Arctic Ocean. This is the busiest ocean in the world. The coastline of Atlantic Ocean is highly indented. This irregular and indented coastline provides ideal location for natural harbors and ports. Indian Ocean It is the only ocean named after a country that is India. The shape of the ocean is almost triangular. In the north, it is bounded by Asia, in the west by Africa and in the east by Australia. The part lying west of Asia between northeastern Africa and Arabian Peninsula is called Arabian Sea. Arctic Ocean It surrounds the North Pole within the Arctic Circle. It is actually the northern extension of Atlantic Ocean. It is connected with the Pacific Ocean by a narrow stretch of shallow water known as Bering Strait. It largely remains frozen with thick sheets of ice. It is bounded by northern coasts of North America and Eurasia. Antarctic Ocean Southern Ocean It surrounds the continent of Antarctica at the South Pole. It is also considered as an extension of Pacific, Atlantic and Indian Oceans. It is also referred to as the Southern Ocean. Other forms of water bodies that are present on the Earth's surface are sea, bay, gulf, lake, river, etc. Fact The Pacific Ocean is Earth's largest ocean. All seven continents could fit over the Pacific Ocean and there would still be room for another Asia. Seas A sea is a large body of water, usually salty, wholly or partly enclosed by land. It is comparatively smaller than the ocean. Some examples of the seas of the world are the Arabian Sea, Aral Sea, Bering Sea, Black Sea, Caspian Sea, the Tasman Sea, the Red Sea, the Caribbean Sea, etc. Bay A bay is a part of the sea or a lake having a wide and open curve indenting into the land or shoreline. Some examples of bays are the Bay of Bengal, the Hudson Bay, Bay of Biscay, etc. Gulf A gulf is a large inlet of the sea like a bay reaching into the land. In contrast to the bay, it is usually narrower at the mouth and is more enclosed and more deeply indented than a bay. For example, Gulf of Mexico, Gulf of Kutch, Persian Gulf, etc. Lakes Lakes are large depressions filled with water. They are usually inland, that is, have no direct connection to any sea or ocean. Lakes are both fresh water as well as salt water. The Great Lakes of the USA, North America, Lake Baikal, Russia, Asia and Lake Shard, Africa are some examples of lakes.
Lakes are formed in a number of ways. Rivers A river refers to a large natural stream of water flowing in a definite direction in a channel. The rivers flow towards a sea, ocean or a main river or a lake. Depending on the supply of water, rivers may be perennial, that is, flowing all through the year, or seasonal, which usually flow during the rainy season. River Ganga, India, River Mississippi, USA, River Amazon, South America, River Murray, Australia, and River Nile, Egypt are some of the important rivers in the world. Causes of Pollution of Water Bodies Water pollution is mainly the result of human activities, sewage and water waste. Every day, we cook, do laundry, flush the toilet, wash our cars, shower and do many things that use water. In many places, waste water and soluble waste called sewage is treated, cleaned and dumped into the sea or river. Even though these are treated, they usually pollute fresh water. In some developing countries like ours, the sewage is not treated but quickly dumped into the water bodies. This is very dangerous because they contaminate the environment and water bodies and bring many deadly diseases to us. Septic Tank In many places, toilet is connected to septic tank usually located outside the house. Each time waste is flushed down the toilet, it goes into this tank from where the liquid is usually drained out into a land drainage system. From this stage, it can escape into the soil and nearby water bodies. Waste Dumping In some places, waste from hospitals, factories and homes are dumped into the water bodies. These wastes can take a long time to decompose or may not decompose at all, such as plastics. These pollute the water bodies and when these end up in the sea, they harm sea animals and cause a lot of water animal deaths. Underground storage and tube leakages. Many liquid products, petroleum products, are stored in metal and steel tubes underground. Other sewage systems run in underground tubes. Over time, they rust and begin to leak. If that happens, they contaminate the soils and the liquids in them end up in many nearby water bodies. Atmospheric Deposition Atmospheric deposition is the pollution of water bodies caused by air pollution. Each time the air is polluted with sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide, they mix with water particles in the air and form a toxic substance. This falls as acid rain to the ground and gets washed into water bodies. The result is that water bodies also get contaminated and this affects animals and water organisms.